Hello, everybody. My name is Rick Napier, the president at 321 Biz Development. I'm also the president of Insurance for Sure Agency under the name of Clarence Napier, licensed in multiple states. Today is Sunday, March 31st, 2024, and I promised a lot of people to do this podcast episode. And uh, this podcast episode is primarily about uh, the probability for success when it comes to contacting and prospecting. And yes, this subject of contacting and prospecting has been sort of a, a trademark, a, a, a staple for 321 Biz Development. And it started as late or as early as 2012, 2013, when I was uh, exiting the real estate business and I saw some problems I had with my own sales. And so while while I was still uh, a real estate agent and uh, currently at that time working as an insurance agent, I dived into this world of trying to figure out how to fix my own sales problems. And that's really how it started. And so I I began to meet with realtors and I was working at an insurance agency in California, actually multiple insurance agencies in California. And I just ran into this problem where I could not predict if I were, if I was going to be successful, you know, when I went out to appointments. And I I had a problem with contacting and prospecting. Uh, I was still making money, but it was just, I I found myself at a wall. So I created the 321 Biz Development System called Selling Without Appearing to Sell. And the reason why I'm doing this podcast episode is um, real estate is about to have a major change. And the 321 Biz Dev system is not about solely real estate, but real estate and insurance is how 321 Biz Dev started. And, you know, 2014, 2015, a lot of agents uh, began to use a lot of social media and digital marketing. And, you know, and, and honestly, a lot of agents didn't succeed with it. They spent a lot of money on leads. They spent a lot of money on fake leads. And it, I know it didn't work out because I know tons of agents, but at least it felt good to them doing things to try to find business. Now, one thing people need to know that in California, at some point in time, maybe eight years ago, there were 200,000 agents. And back when the market was pretty decent, maybe four, five, six, eight years ago, about 25 to 30,000 homes were sold every month among 200,000 agents. So that means about, uh, let's, let's just say if an agent could close a house every month, every four weeks, which is really not normal unless the the purchase is a cash offer in seven days or a cash offer in 14 days but most homes sell in about six to eight weeks let's just say that a home sold in four weeks so with 200,000 agents and 25,000 homes sold every month that would equate to every agent selling about eight homes per year Now, the interesting thing about, at least in California, I'm not sure what it's like in other states, but in California, only 23% of agents make more than $33,000. And so that means, you know, 77% of agents make less than $33,000. In fact, I saw a statistic that said, a whopping 64% of agents never sell a house in, in their first year. And they may sell two homes the next year. So those are very important statistics 
that uh, we need to remember about about real estate. So again, this is really a not just about real estate. Uh, three, two, one biz development. We started with insurance agents and real realtors. Then we worked with attorneys and CPAs and dentists and 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 um, other blue collar professionals that sell products and services over one thousand dollars. So the three, two, one biz dev system and the work that we've done with contacting, prospecting, setting appointments, closing, and getting zero cost referrals pretty much encompass any small business owner that sells a product or service for at least five hundred or or thousand dollars and higher. So this podcast episode is really about the success probability that a salesperson can have when they're contacting and prospecting and they're trying to set that appointment to to meet with someone to talk about a product or service. And what people should know is that there are really only three options when it comes to uh, asking someone if they have an interest in meeting about your product or service. And those three options are yes, maybe, and no. So two of the options are positive. Yes and maybe are positive. The no is kind of like no, but sometimes a no doesn't really mean no forever. It could be no no for the first day, for, for the first month, or maybe for the six months. And sometimes the no means that person who made contact and perhaps uh, promoted that product or service, maybe the no was specifically meant for them, for him or her. So I'm here to tell people that the probability is about 67%. And what you will see, if you look at the slides, if you see the slide, the, the probability is about between 17% and 83%. So that's the range of the probability. And the reason why that range is 17% to 83% is because a hard no would be 33%. But we know, you know, based on the, the salesperson, based on the situation, the hard no really doesn't exist. And it could, it could be down to 17% where even at the 17% level, the person could be a yes or a maybe. And if you go to the other range, the 83%, we would say that the the hard yes would be 66%, leaving 33% for the hard no. But again, you know, the, the hard yes of, of 67% could be the perfect salesperson. But, you know, people aren't perfect, so the yes could extend into the 83%. So that's the logic behind that. And just to let people know, I am a Cal Berkeley uh, economics and statistics graduate. I uh, went to Cal Berkeley and graduated in the early 90s. But the most important part about this podcast episode is that people need to figure it out. And 321 Biz Development can help. Salespeople need to get this contacting and prospecting skill down, uh, like now rather than later. You definitely need. You definitely, you definitely need to get this this contacting and prospecting skill down. I'm, I know a lot of people try to avoid it, but based on the economy, based on changes that we're seeing in certain industries, um, you need to be at the top of your game when it comes to contacting and prospecting. Because we know that many people, they have the skill to sell real estate. They have the skill to perform dentistry and law and accounting and restoring floors and, and doing tummy tucks. We know you have the skill to do that because you went to school for that. But contacting and prospecting is a totally different area where I would say 95 to 99% of the people have never have the training and the people will I don't want to say the word suffer 
but I will say that the expectations to succeed will become minimal or be minimized if salespeople do not grab a hold of this contacting and prospecting skill. Now for my businesses, I would say 99.9% of my new clients come from me meeting people in public or introducing myself to people in public or working on the phone. So I just want to extend this, this offer to people that if you have any type of reservation about contacting and prospecting and you want to fix it, please give me a call so we can find out how we can so so I can find out how to help you because there are ways to help you, you know, master this contacting and prospecting skill. 321 BizDev has a six to nine hour sales training system to help small business owners get on track to master contacting and prospecting. I just want to close by saying my name is Rick Napier, president at 321 Biz Development, toll free telephone number 855-600-9911, or you can reach me at Clarence Napier, multiple state insurance broker or multi-state insurance broker, toll free telephone number 866-901-9876. Thanks for listening and make it a great day.